Statement. What has he said? What was his motive? Well, that is still right, his allegation. I mean, still that investigation right now. We have, you know, spoken to him, and uh, he cannot get, give us any, he has not been able to give us any satisfactory answer, you know, for his desolate act, as far as I'm concerned. But the fact still remains that he was the one that led to the death of that lady. Okay, so far from pre uh, preliminary investigations, is the girl's body was found. Was there any uh, uh, sexual assault? Was she raped? Oh, we wouldn't know until the autopsy is performed. Because, uh, I mean, now the, the, the loveless body is in the morgue, and definitely there's going to be a postmortem. So when the postmortem examination is conducted, then the report will show that whether, it was, whether she was raped or not, whether she was abused or not. Okay, so there's also on social media, we also saw information that alleged that the missing body parts. Is that... That is, that is not true. That is not true. I visited the morgue myself and I saw the lifeless body. You know, the, the, the members of the family visit the place with the DPO in and they can attest to the fact that no, no, no part of her body was mutilated. But we cannot ascertain whether she was raped. Autopsy will reveal that after our post examination. He was arrested with somebody who was presumed to be harboring him. He ran to that person's house in Oshusa. That person was not part of the, this, uh, you know, this uh, Rastali uh, act because uh, we have interrogated him and he told us that the boy was not in that bus on that day. <laughs> <laughs>